Oh, what's up, y'all? It's B. Avery here, and I want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion, where we are going to be talking about the box office results for the second weekend of Avengers Infinity War, my second most anticipated film of all of 2018, with number one being Black Panther. And we're going to talk about that, too. Um, also, just guys, want to give you some updates. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers, so all of my uh, subscribers right now. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate all you subscribers, all the comments, all the thumbs up. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and help me reach 5,000. And also, I did see the Ant-Man and the Watch trailer and um, some of you were asking like, are you going to react to this? I was out of town last week and my equipment was not working right. So I'm just like, man, screw it. I'm just going to have to miss this one. So I did react to Luke Cage and uh, the Robin Hood that will be short uh, up on my trailer uh, shortly after this video. I've already recorded it, but let's go ahead and get to this box office. I was so tempted to do this yesterday, but of course, you know, Sundays we get the weekend. I mean, we get the estimated amounts, but on Monday we get the actual numbers and the actual numbers are coming in. So, you know, uh, Avengers Infinity War beat the number one opening of all time at $258 million. Uh, no, 257 million uh, to be exact, beating uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, which came out in 2015. But um, Avengers Infinity War has easily beat, well, didn't easily beat it, they beat it with 257 uh, million um, in the opening weekend. However, uh, the second weekend, Star Wars The Force Awakens is still the champ at uh, 200, not 200, at 100 and uh 47 million dollars let me just go ahead and make sure on that i thought i had that pulled up but i don't what, what was it um yeah 149 million dollars uh while um uh, excuse me avengers infinity war is 114 million dollars it's not the number one so avengers infinity war won the opening weekend force awakens is now second but for the second weekend force awakens is number one and uh avengers infinity war is number at number two and that's still very good but before i get into all the details of avengers infinity war Let's go ahead and just look at the top 10 or the top five that came in this past weekend. So, like I said, number one this past weekend was Avengers Infinity War at $114 million. $114,774,810. Now, it had a 55.5% drop. It opened at a large number of theaters at uh, 40, 4,474 theaters. Um, it is still at that uh, amount right there, and it only dropped 55%. Now, excuse me. Some people, and I'm, I'm really surprised by this. I was kind of going into this this uh, breakdown and this weekend, like some people are going to be complaining. So I'm like, oh my God, it did so well, but it had a 60% drop, a 70% drop. Even if it would have had a 70% drop, that doesn't matter in this case because it made so much freaking money the opening weekend. So that just, even if it has a big drop, that just means that everybody wants to go see it the opening weekend or whatever. So, you know, if, if not that many people went to go see it the opening weekend, a lot of people would go see it the second or third weekend, hence the drop would be shorter. But it only dropped 55.5%, so that's still really, really good. And I'm going to compare that drop to Force Awakens and all the other big numbers uh, in just a second. But a 55% drop, and you have the biggest opening of all time, that's pretty good in my book, okay? Uh, coming in at number two is Overboard at $14 million, $14,711,101. Uh, 16, 1623 theaters. Now, this film right here with uh, Anna Faris and um, I don't know. I did not see this movie. I did not care to see it. I probably won't see it. I try to see all movies that I possibly can, but, you know, just sometimes some slip between your fingers and this is going to be one of them. A Quiet Place comes in at number three. Still just wrecking shop at the box office with another $7 million, $7,763,085. It is now uh, 3,400 locations. It only dropped 29.5%. Of course, this is just doing so well. Let me go ahead and pull out my calculator just in case I'm going to need it. But uh, it's doing great. The budget for that was only $17 million. Right now, it is at $255 million worldwide. $160 million domestically 
and $95 million uh, internationally coming up to $255 and 55 million so 255 457 471 divided into 17 million this thing is made 15 times its budget they are dancing like this right here popping bottles at the studio or whatever now real quick let me just step aside real quick from the uh, from the top 10 let's just do a little showdown real quick of some kind of horror movies because we got quiet place let's also compare that to get out because i love how a box office merger does this Okay, so uh, they're both horror. Uh, Get Out came out February. This one came out in um, April. And um, the budget for A Quiet Place was $17 million. No, let, let me let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Get Out's domestic run, uh, no, not domestic, worldwide uh, sum came to $255 million worldwide. That is exactly where A Quiet Place is right now, $255 million as well. So you can kind of compare these two. Uh, but Get Out was much, much cheaper. Get Out was only $4.5 million, while a quick quiet place was $17 million. Still, uh, you know, real cheap. Get Out ended up making $176 million domestically, while right now domestic uh, acquired places are $160 million. So uh, it may make around that same amount. Uh, it made $7 million this past uh, weekend. And so it's a number three in the top in the in the top 10 right now. Um, and what what re, what uh what week of release is this? Let's see for the quiet place. This is in its uh, fifth week, so it's gonna be there for quite some time. You know, doing well at the box office. But let's go ahead and get back to the top ten real quick. Coming in at number four is I Feel Pretty, bringing in another five million dollars, dropping thirty eight percent. Um, with thirty two hundred locations now. This says a lot to me. Uh, Amy Schumer apparently necessarily does not have a, a big pool at the box office because Snatched was a textbook definition of a box office bomb. And it looks like I Feel Pretty is going to be bombing as well. Now, I don't feel like this is going to be releasing overseas because really dramas and comedies and things like that are not released overseas because those countries have their own dramas and their own comedic talents over there you know like not you know like our big giant blockbusters and stuff like that um you know where those are released worldwide but let's see here now okay well okay well let me let me back up my tracks a little bit because so it opened in the united states uh april 20th yes april 20th some for territories April 19th but this past weekend in the Philippines the United Arab Emirates Kuwait and a number of other territories is open this past weekend also next week May 10th and the 11th and 12th is going to open in Brazil Germany Finland and Lithuania May 17th is going to open in Croatia May 25th is going to open in Sweden Portugal Russia and a number of other territories in June, Poland, June 29th, but Poland, I mean, it's Poland. It's not knocking Poland. Maybe get a million bucks there. But anyway, I, excuse me. I was going to say that she's the she's losing money. I was about to say that this is a box office bomb, but I jumped the gun because I have to look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's 13 more territories that her, her movie, I Feel Pretty, has not opened up in. And so with a budget of $33 million, let me make sure I get that right exactly, which ought to be is at $32 million, um, you know, and you know my rule of three. So what is that? $96 million it has to, uh, you know, 32 times three. Yeah, $96 million. So I doubt that it's going to make another $60 million internationally, but I don't know, maybe they can recoup their money back. But if this is the case to where, because... Snatch was a bomb. This is not doing well either. She did Train Wreck, which came out in 2015, which made like 130 something, 140 million. Man, I got it right here. Why don't I just look and be exact? Amy Schumer. Uh, okay. And I, don't, I don't know. Every time I try to look up Amy Schumer on here, what was it? I forgot the name of the movie. What movie are we looking at? Y'all let me know on the screen. And that's impossible. Um, train Wreck. That's what we're looking at. I'm starting to think that the only reason this movie made money is because LeBron James was marketed in it. And, you know, everybody likes LeBron James, to my knowledge. So Trainwreck did 
$140 million worldwide with a $35 million budget. So we're just going to have to see what Amy Schumer was going to do because right now it's not looking so hot. Maybe this was released in August, September, October. Who knows? But she wanna re they want to release it in the middle of summer. Hey, that's on them. Tully comes in at number six. No, I skipped one. Rampage. I really want to talk about this. Comes in at number five, bringing in another $4.6 million. Uh, it dropped 35% from last week. 3,100 theaters right now. Now, Rampage. Now, this is being directed by Brad Payton, who worked with The Rock with San Andreas back in 2015. Uh, May 29th, 2015. The budget was $10 million cheaper than Rampage at $110 million and it made $473 million worldwide. So that's straight. That's pretty decent. You know, it made a, a very respectable profit. Um, you know, the studios made a good decision. Like, hey, we made some money here. Let's have Brad Payton and uh, the Rock team up again. So that's what they wanted to do with Rampage. Now, Rampage like is $10 million more, $120 million. That's not too freaking expensive, okay? But right now, it's doing $378 million. So, that's not as well as uh, San Andreas, but it's still decent, okay? It, it passed my rule of three. 120 times three, that would be 360, and this is a 378 worldwide. Um, it's going to open in Japan and Poland. I think those are the only territories left. It may bring in another 10 or $11 million from those territories. Hopefully, this will get to $400 million, okay? Because right now, uh, I mean, think of this, guys. Let's let's just let's just look at this, okay? So, $120 million times 3 is 360 so it did that. So, let's just take this 378 at a 1, 710 that it made. And let's just times that by 35%. That's $132 million. So, we're going to round that up to $133 million, Oh, let's redo that. 378, 801, 710. Minus 100 and, uh, I forgot what I said. Was it 100 and, I was going to say $136 million. So that's $242 million right there uh, that they have left to play with as far as profit is concerned. Uh, because that 100, that 35% that goes to the theater owners. And then you subtract the 110 million, 120 million. I feel like I bought this already because I did this earlier today just on Rampage. $122 million profit. But then again, you know, you have the marketing, so I, which we don't know how, how much it is. So, uh, you know, that's that. So, worldwide, $378 million for Rampage. Um, you know, that's doing all right. And it's not making a hell of a lot of money, but it's not bombing anything like that. That's, that's respectable. So, you know, good job, Rock. Hopefully, we can still make more money. Uh, it's. As far as the weekend is concerned, you know, uh, it had a $35 million, then $20 million the second weekend. Then the, when Infinity War came out, it went from $20 million to $7 million. It had a 64% drop, but then this past weekend, it was just 35%. So, you know, there you go, Rampage. Coming in at number six is um, Tully at uh, $3 million. Black Panther was at number five last week, but it dropped down to number seven, which is still good. It's in the top ten. Bringing in another dollars uh, uh, $3,254,977. Uh, it dropped 31% from last week. It is now 1,600 theaters. Uh, I'm going to come back to Black Panther. True the Dare is number 8 at $1.8 Super Troopers 2 at number 9 at $1.8 million. And Blockers at number 10 at $1.7 million. And Bad Samaritan, another new release this week, came in at number 11 at $1.7 million. But let's look at Black Panther real quick. Right now, Black Panther is at $693 million domestically. It's just $7 million away from the $700 million domestic goal that I will hope that it makes. So it possibly can make that. It, it possibly can. But what is really intriguing to me is uh, it's May 7th. So tomorrow, uh, actually, it's sorry, is it, is it midnight yet? Not yet. It's 11.30 or where I am, Central Standard Time. Tomorrow, uh, Black Panther, by the time you see this video, it will be Tuesday morning. But Black Panther is going to be released on digital. And then a week after that, it's going to be released um, um, on uh, Blu-ray and 4K, which I will be getting my copy of. I can't wait. And so it, seems, it just seems like why are they knocking, why are they take? I don't know if they're going to just take it out of theaters. That wouldn't make sense to me. But why is it coming out so early on, on home video when it's doing so well at the box office? I don't know. 
And you know, the more I think about it, the more I get a, a frustrated with Infinity War because I feel like, you know, Wakanda and Black Panther was kind of cut short in that movie. But we'll talk about that in just a second or whatever. But um, the the week of Infinity War came out, man, that thing dropped 4%. The week before that, it dropped 14%. But this week, it dropped 31%. So April 20th, it made 4.9. The next week, it made 4.7. That's crazy. And then this week, 3.2. So it could reach that $700 million, that $700 million domestically. We're just going to have to see. I want it to so freaking bad. Right now, it is at $1,338,428,476. Uh, when we look at the all-time for Black Panther worldwide, it is still at number nine. The only thing that is beating it is Harry Potter and the Death of the Hollows Part Two, and it's only beating it by like three million, three four million dollars. So Black Panther is going to end up being the number eight uh, box office, and then we're gonna have Avengers: Infinity War that's gonna knock it back down. I don't know what Solo is gonna do. Um, I don't know what Incredibles Two is gonna do either, but it has a good chance of staying in that top ten at least until. Uh, Avengers 4 comes out next year or Captain Marvel or anything or, you know, we're not going to have another Star Wars movie besides Solo. So that's pretty good right there. When we look at all time um, adjusted for inflation for Black Panther, it is still in number 30. Number 29 is Marvel's The Avengers. I don't think that it's going to catch Marvel's The Avengers because um, that's the $704 million when you adjust for inflation. But, you know, hey. It's still doing a pretty good damn job. Man, did y'all check out those deleted scenes that's been on YouTube uh, with Black Panther? Did you see the one with Okoye and Wakabi? When, uh, man, she was like, you wanted him to lose. And he was like, man, why did they cut that out of the movie? It was so freaking awesome. But we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But let's get back over to Infinity War, baby. That's breaking all types of records. And, you know, it's making me uh, very happy uh, right here. I've seen the film four times now. I saw it Thursday night, opening night. Then I saw it that past, uh, the next Saturday. And then I saw it again when I was out of town. I caught a movie uh, when I was out of town up on Tuesday. And then this past Saturday, I saw it again. Uh, when I was out of town, I didn't have to pay for it. But we have it right here. Film with our mass cameras. Had to have the Thor up right there as well. Uh, fastest film in history to reach $11 billion. I mean $11 billion. Wow. $1 billion in 11 days. So that's just freaking badass right there. Right now, domestically, the film is at $453 million. $714 million worldwide. I mean, internationally. So right now, $1.1 billion. Okay. Now, let's look at the showdown real quick. Y'all know I like to do the showdown. And the showdown that we're going to be doing is the opening weekend showdown. These are the biggest opening weekends of all time in all film history, which is divided into between six films, which is Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Black Panther, and Avengers Infinity War. Every single one of these films has opened up with $200 million or more. Uh, the lowest being Black Panther at 202, the highest being Avengers Infinity War at 257. So, Last week, I was like, oh my gosh, it beat The Force Awakens. The, and The Force Awakens made 900 and something million dollars, wor uh, not worldwide, but domestically, yeah, $936 million domestically. So I'm like, wait a minute, man, does Black Panther have a chance? Not Black Panther, excuse me. Does Infinity War have a chance of making that um, amount of money too, uh, domestically? And the answer is no. Because while The Force Awakens won um, the 119, the original Friday, Black Panther, I'm not, I keep saying Black Panther. Uh, Infinity War did 106. Now, Infinity War came through and whooped uh, The Force Awakens on the first Saturday and Sunday. But when we come down to Monday, that's where uh, The Force Awakens just went off sprint and leaving Infinity War in its dust. And again, I've lost the freaking cursor. And I found it. Okay, here we go. So, um, last uh, Monday, uh, Infinity, uh, The Force Awakens did 40 million. Infinity War did 24. Tuesday, Force Awakens did 37 million. Infinity War did 23 million. Wednesday, Force Awakens did 38 million. Infinity War did 16 million. That's less than half. I mean, that's more than half. Uh, Thursday, 27 million. Force Awakens. Infinity War, 15 million. So, 
Force Awakens has been kicking Infinity Wars butt on the day to day during the week or whatever. And then this past weekend, you know, For Force Awakens did 149 million, Black uh, Infinity War did 114 because it won on uh, Friday at 49 million, uh, Infinity War on 31 million, Saturday 56 million, uh, Infinity War 46 million, and Sunday, which was yesterday, 43 million. Uh, Infinity War 36 million so it's not so at this point right now uh, Infinity War domestically is at 453 million dollars at this point in time uh, The Force Awakens was nearly a hundred million dollars more at 540 million so it's not gonna catch that It's just not but that's fine. I mean Infinity War is still doing great now if I want to compare Infinity War to the Black Panther day by day uh, It's been neck and neck. I mean it won the first weekend of course and and then uh, Black Panther won that following Monday because that was President's Day. But Tuesday, last Tuesday, Infinity War 23 million, Black Panther 20 million. And then Infinity War 16, Black Panther 14. Thursday, Black uh, Infinity War 15, uh, Black Panther 14. You know, and then, you know, you can just go down day by day by day, and it's just neck and neck. Infinity War is beating Black Panther by a million and two million dollars on a day to day basis or whatever. However, Black Panther at this point was at four or three million. Uh, Infinity War was at uh, four hundred. Excuse me. At this point, Black Panther is at four hundred and three million dollars domestically, while Infinity War is fifty million dollars exactly above that, four hundred and fifty-three million. So, if it stays on the pace that is on right now, and it continues to be Black Panther. Uh, Infinity War domestically could end up making $50 million more than what Infi uh, Black Panther did domestically. And right now, Infinity War, I mean, Black Panther is $693 million. So, um, domestically, Infinity War can make around $740, $750 million. So, this is kind of dope right there. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah. And when you look at the weekends, uh, Infinity War did 114 million, Black Panther did 111 million second weekend. So next weekend, Black Panther did 66 million, and we're gonna see what Infinity War does the next weekend. But Infinity War is uh, kicking all types of butt. It's already beating um, Infinity War. It's already beating uh, Black Panther domestically. I think Black Panther is number six. I mean internationally, Black Panther is number six internationally worldwide as far as all the MCU films are concerned. Uh, and let me look at this real quick. Okay, so I'm looking at just the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? On uh, boxofficemojo.com. So the highest international Marvel film is Age of Ultron. It made $946 million overseas, while the first Avengers did $895, so about $50 million less. Black Panther only did only. Six hundred and forty-five million dollars, um, world uh, worldwide. I mean, internationally, Infinity War is already surpassed at a seven fourteen, and it hasn't even opened in China yet, guys. It opens in China this coming weekend. So, uh, I expect Infinity War to reach the billion dollar mark internationally, and so Infinity War might make. I don't know. It may make one point seven, one point eight billion do uh, yeah, billion dollars I wanted to reach two billion dollars but I don't know if it if it possibly would do that it might be but it's doing very well right now internationally and uh, yeah it, it, it's it, it's gonna tell but I want to make two billion it'll probably make 1.8 billion which is still very very good you know but you know we're just gonna have to see guys we are just gonna have to see uh, and um, I want to do another video because Bro, I loved Infinity War. I still feel that there were some things rushed, especially with Wakanda and Black Panther. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, and I was, you know, I'll talk about that in the other video, guys. But I don't think I left anything out. If I did, please uh, leave it in the comment section below. Um, and I really do appreciate it, guys. But that is just my opinion for the box office results for Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, and everything else that came out. What did you think about everything on my numbers? Did I, you agree with me? You disagree with me? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Uh, let's keep this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. And please do, guys. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it. You can also go to my website, check me out there on Bookmark, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. 
and I made it very easy by providing a link to all the good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion of the box office results or this episode of Just My Opinion. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.